It starts with the restored fort at the north end of town, runs a mile and a half along historic River Street, past the elegant 18th century Grand Union Hotel to the Missouri Breaks Interpretive Center, and culminates at the Missouri River Canoe Camp and Launch Ramp. Fort Benton, Montana, with fewer than 1,500 residents, is still a city of superlatives. This is why we have our name, uh, the birthplace of Montana, because with this, the oldest structure in Montana on its original foundations, and with this being the oldest continuously occupied settlement in the state of Montana, we hearken to that. The northeastern blockhouse of the old fort is original, dating to 1850. It's the oldest building in the oldest city in Montana. Displays throughout the fort tell the story of Fort Benton's first life as the fur trading center for the entire Northwest. Blackfoot Indians would bring buffalo hides and beaver pelts here to trade for prized finished goods brought up the river from the east. In a museum within the museum, the Fort's Star Gallery boasts a collection of Native American sculptures by Montana-born Bob Scriver. And adjacent the Fort, another collection, the Museum of the Upper Missouri, tells of how a raucous river port of scamps and scoundrels evolved into a respectable commercial center. All along the dike that protects the town from the Missouri, the history of Fort Benton unfolds in a string of dozens of signs describing everything from the buildings that date from the 19th century to the watercraft that made Fort Benton America's foremost trading post to the first bridge in Montana to cross the Big Muddy, today the centerpiece of the hike and bike trail that runs along the dike for the length of the town. Native Lance Squires now lives in Florida but brings his family back twice a year. A July sunrise over the Missouri is unsurpassed. Along the dike where today two and four-footed residents enjoy the morning calm, steamships once docked. You see, this is the furthest up the Missouri steamships could come before hitting rough water. It made Fort Benton the center of the fur trade. And at over 3,000 miles from the ocean, it was the world's most inland port, another superlative. Along the dike, another Scriver statue honors old Shep. It's the best Fort Benton tale. Shep's master has died and the dog watches as they loaded the coffin into the train for the trip back home. Scriver also notes in this bigger-than-life sculpture that Louis, Clark, Sacagawea, and her baby Jean-Baptiste first passed this way, coming and going. The place to stay in this historic town is the classic Grand Union Hotel, the oldest in Montana, of course, dating from 1882, but its glory was short-lived. Cheryl Gagnon and her husband bought the hotel in 1995 on a whim and spent a fortune returning it to its 19th century glory. It needed lots of work. After years of neglect, the hotel has been restored to its original elegance with modern upgrades. The hotel's Union Grill is renowned throughout Montana for gourmet dining, and the relaxing riverside patio just enhances the tastes. It's an 18th century experience with 21st century amenities, including bathrooms. The more recent history is reflected at the Museum of the Great Plains with its extensive collection of farm equipment and homestead village with its array of restored original 19th century buildings and a cute little gas station from the early 20th. Inside the official Agricultural Museum of Montana, the Smithsonian Buffalo. These were taken from the last wild herd to be displayed in Washington as examples of an extinct species. The big bull served as model for several national symbols still used today. 
All these museums were done with volunteer effort and private funds. The exception is the BLM's Interpretive Center and Museum, where each summer thousands of canoeists sign up to run the river through the Missouri Breaks Wilderness. The unique thing about this portion of the river and the Lewis and Clark National Historic Trail is that the actual route and the, and the river corridor that they, that they took is, is visually unchanged. So pretty much what they saw is what you see today. Uh, you can actually camp in some of their campsites. Charming Fort Benton offers an extensive, varied, and colorful experience, all crammed along a two-mile waterfront of the West's most historic river. For me, it's a thrill to sit in the middle of a big old river and say, I'm sitting in the middle of the Missouri. Restein at your leisure in the birthplace of Montana, Fort Benton.